Hello, my name is Joanna and I'm feeling crafty. Welcome or welcome back uh, to my YouTube channel where I talk all about sewing. It's been a while. <laughs> I took a little bit of a break from YouTube um, to accommodate for uh, Christmas. I don't teach in December. Um, I have a little uh, sewing school and I usually uh, don't do any classes during December because I think December is busy and expensive enough uh, that you don't really need uh, it's hard to curve uh, time to do anything extra so I uh, just naturally in my head I um, decided not to film either and then Christmas was just so chilled out and relaxed that uh, I didn't want to be uh, filming in there so well, there you have it um, few weeks break um, so today's video is just going to be uh, my December makes uh, of which there aren't many and also a few bits that I got as gifts so stay tuned I just put my uh, ring light on because the weather today in Cork is like changing every five minutes um, so I will start off with uh, what I made in uh, the month of December uh, of which there wasn't much and um, so this year um, all my neighbors uh, got from me a little goodie bag of um, a jar of honey a jar of uh, brandy butter I don't know if you're part of the world uh, Christmas pudding is a thing but it is in here and I love it and it's quite a boozy type dessert uh, and not boozy enough for me so I make a mean um, brandy batter to, to go with it so this year I made a couple of batches and uh, gifted them to all my neighbors so uh, honey um, brandy batter and some uh, cinnamon sugar um, so with that I also gifted everyone a little Christmas decoration so in my gift to November, I um, shared a few decorations I was going to make this year. Uh, and I held the cutest uh, sewing class of the year, um, uh, end of uh, November, which was Christmas decoration class. And we had a selection of uh, three different uh, decorations. I love them. Oh my goodness, and the garland. <laughs> and um, they were um, included in my in my um, gifts for my neighbors and few friends. Um, and if I can educate myself how to do it, I might uh, put a picture of them somewhere. Here. Uh, the other thing I've been making were covered uh, journals. I, I made some uh, patchworked um, uh, covers. I made a few journals uh, for a few of my uh, friends. Um, uh, so I bought... Um, I don't know if in your part of the world you have a shop called Tiger. It's a Dutch... not Dutch uh danish danish shop i think correct me if i'm wrong um so it's kind of an inexpensive uh type shop um but i love their uh, selection of stationery they have really nice uh bullet journals and this year i discovered uh, they have um uh, di uh diaries uh like a calendar but it had a, a, a page per day, and th there was they were very interesting. So I bought bunch of the bought bunch of them uh, this year, um, but they were a little boring looking. So I had to adjust them. I have a tutorial on my channel how to cover uh, a journal, how to make a like a fabric cover for your journal. 
So I followed that tutorial, just uh, didn't use plain fabric. I patchworked it and quilted it uh, a little bit as well. So they were absolutely beautiful. Um, again, don't have any to show you, but I'll try to include a picture. So for my niece, who was my secret Santa this year, I made a uh, hug, hug hoodie by Made It Patterns. Uh, these are the line drawings. So it's um i've made this pattern uh, a good few times and i love that crisscross um and uh, it looks very effective if you do the the bands in a contrast uh, fabric which is what i have done uh for for my niece um the unfortunately you you can't um buy this pattern anymore because uh, made it patterns sadly uh, closed the business uh, but it's a fantastic uh, hoodie just the way it's drafted all the notches it's really top notch <laughs> <laughs> um it's uh, it's it's well drafted it's not a, a, a difficult garment it's a raglan sleeve uh hoodie with two piece um hood um but uh, it's really well drafted and it's um drafted for long limbed um individual like myself um so uh what i specifically love about it is that i don't have to lengthen i am five foot nine um and usually i have to lengthen uh sleeves and um trousers uh legs and stuff but for this one i don't anyway so um, I don't have the hoodie that I gifted, but I had loads of um, uh, fabric left uh, and I made one for myself. How very cheeky of me. So one sec, I'll grab it to show you. This is she. So this is the, uh, the crisscross band. I have used the uh, same fabric uh, for all the coughing. Uh, but for my niece, I used contrast, uh, just plain navy um, coughing. And so that looked a little more effective. I just preferred it uh, plain for myself. Now, this fabric is a look back jersey with all sorts of bogs on it. So I call it Don't Bog Me hoodie. <laughs> this fabric came uh from an amazing susie if i remember correctly uh she's in northern ireland uh, she's absolutely wonderful and uh, she has a youtube channel as well she hasn't been very active lately um and the channel is called called uh thread quarters and um she just has the most amazing selection of fabrics and i placed a um, pretty large order gosh i don't know a couple of years ago and all of the fabrics were just so amazing i they immediately went to my too precious to sew with uh, fabrics which is silly isn't it anyway so this was one of those i absolutely loved it so uh initially i bought i think four meters of it um and i intended to to make like a set of um, top and trousers, but I thought mm, might be a little too much in this uh, pattern. Uh, it's so soft and snuggly. Now I lined this, the hood with a fleece and the fleece came from, I chopped up an old um, uh, zip up hoodie. Um, that I wasn't wearing to make it. Now, one thing I love about Hog Hoodie is how, just the professional finish of it. Uh, so as you can see, the uh, the seam, the join where the uh, hood joins the uh, hoodie is concealed with this band, which I love. I love those uh, little details. So after the hoodie, um, which I uh, I caught both of the hoodies at once, uh, but the one for my niece, of course, uh, I made very last minute, pretty much the day we were meeting. 
do we learn? Do we ever learn? Anyway, so um, I I had a vague plan to make myself a Christmas day dress, uh, but because because I was so late with the uh, with the hoodie, I didn't have the time. So I made the hoodie and then I, in all excitement, I cut out a dress. This dress I've been meaning to make for Christmas for years. So it's a Vogue pattern. It's a V1633. And this this is a woven pattern. So this calls for crepe, a rayon chalice, a, a novelty shears, whatever that means. It has a zip. Okay. So the fabric I decided to make it in is uh, scuba. This is the softest, you know, one of those kind of very flowy, fluidy scubas. That's one of those. Um, now, I have not put in a zip because I knew this will be um, stretchy enough, um, no matter no matter what, it will be stretchy enough to go over my head. But I still wanted something extra. So this pattern, uh, as you can see, has a kind of a high turtleneck. Now this tur turtleneck is um, quite high, but quite wide. I can't handle, um, what do you call them? Turtlenecks, I can't handle them. I can't have anything. This is as close as I can get uh, to my neck i just feel choky but this uh this one is very comfortable because it's um just that little bit wider so i i find it very comfortable um so um if you look at the line drawing so this is the version i made it has uh, uh boss darts and it has darts uh, at the back and center back seam and these voluminous uh, sleeves. Now the sleeves are not gathered, they are pleated. If you saw the uh, pattern piece, it's um, quite an interesting one. It took me a little bit of head scratching. That was fun. Do you do that? Like I was trying to figure out the sleeve and how, how the pleats are going one evening. And I pinned, I took out the pins, I pinned again. I think I did it three or four times and just decided, okay, it's too late at night. I won't be able to figure it out. And then the next morning I was, you know, like when you're dreaming, when you're sewing a dress in your head, I do this thing that I have to complete the garment in my imagination, in my head. I have to give birth to it in here to be able to tackle it. It has to happen in there. And then I know what I'm doing. Do you do that? Is that weird? I don't know. Um, so I have um, struggled to figure out this, these pleats. And then the next morning after I've, you know, imagined it all in my head, I came up to my sewing room first thing in the morning and it just worked like that. One of those projects. So these are very um, kind of elaborate uh, pleats. Uh, and they also, um, the, the cuff is also, so it doesn't look very well, but also pleated. So um, very, uh, very dramatic as you can see the volume in it is amazing and I think scuba is a perfect fabric to kind of hold um, that kind of I don't really enjoy wearing scuba but for like a go going out outfit when I, I'll, I'll just be wearing it for a couple of hours I can handle it um, okay so modifications I have not put in a zip I did something else. Ta -da! I did a little peekaboo. So initially I had uh, the this neckband piece was a little bit higher and I have put uh, two buttons there. 
uh, but the, the join there wasn't very clean. It just gave me a little hump on the back, which I did not enjoy. So eventually I um, took it off and I just overlapped the, the top of the dress. So I put in a little pick a -bow, which I finished with a band. Um, and then um, that goes into the neckband. So guys, I cut this dress 23rd of December, I think. And then on uh, Christmas Eve, I did a little bit. I think I constructed the neck and the, the, the back and put the, um, the darts. Uh, but couldn't figure out the sleeves. Anyway, um, long story short, I have made this dress on Christmas Day while I, while my husband was cooking uh, our Christmas dinner. How lucky am I? Um, it's not a complicated ma uh, make at all, at all. And um, I managed to finish it, to sit down and have my Christmas lunch in my new dress. And the light changed again. I mean, what are we like? Um, where was I? So my red scuba Christmas day dress, uh, which is a Vogue uh, 1633. Very simple, very straightforward, but uh, sizing. I mean, do I even have to say it? Uh, big four is notorious with uh, making things way too big. So this pattern, I've had it for a, a long time. And the uh, so there is two size bands and the one I have is the smaller one. What was I thinking? Uh, but as it appears, I was thinking um, quite right. So as per the uh, body measurements on the pattern, I should have made size 18, but I checked the uh, finished garment uh, measurements on the pattern pieces and I also measured them um, and um, size 14 was perfectly fine. Uh, to, just to be safe, I stitched it with um, um, 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. This is designed for uh, 5 eighths, as usually is the case. I I do not enjoy sewing knits with 5 eighths of an inch. Am I alone? It's just... I just don't. Um. Yes, so what I have done uh, I have made a size 14. I am um, 39 bust, 30, probably about five uh, inch waist uh, after Christmas and 42 inch uh, hips. So the, uh, the uh, pattern envelope uh, did put me in um, size 18, which has 32 inch waist, uh, which would have been too small for me anyway. So I took a risk. I was working with a very, very stretchy fabric. Um, and also um, I did measure uh, the pattern pieces. So I knew I, I was going to be fine. So this dress is ever so slightly too big for me. Um, it also, um, this sleeve, you can even see that on the model. That's um, the sleeve head. Um, I think is designed to be ever so slightly dropped, uh, which I did not like at all. So I shaved um, a little over an inch on each uh, side just to bring the, the head of the, sl the sleeve a little bit uh, higher. Also like scuba uh, would be quite weighty and I knew that with all this gathering, it's just going to droop the, um, the, uh, the sleeve down. Um, the pattern doesn't tell you to put um, 
a little bit of reinforcement in that shoulder uh, seam but I did put a little bit of uh, stretch elastic because of the nature of the fabric I was working with I knew that that was going to stretch especially with the, the volume of the sleeve um, so that's another thing to be mindful of um, what else did I do um, Oh, so the sleeves are um, designed to have a proper cuff with buttons and um, continuous lap, is that, is that what it's called? But I omitted that and just uh, treated, it, uh, treated it as just you would in a jersey, so I just made a cuff, uh, which I actually stole from my hog hoodie, because I find that that cuff fits me uh, fantastically. I did lengthen it a little bit. Um, so that is, the, oh yes, I did lengthen the sleeve um, as well, um, which I probably didn't need to. I just wanted to have this kind of a blue zone effect so that it would bellow into the, 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 the cuff a little bit. Um, but it's a little too much. Um, not that it's going to stop me from wearing it at all. I am absolutely delighted with this dress. I wore it on Christmas Day and then I wore it again when we went to see Panto a um, couple of days after Christmas. Uh, very, very comfortable. Um, very um, effective looking. And that is all that I made in December. Uh, not much, but um, I was very happy with uh, those few bits. So uh, that leads me to what I got for Christmas. And what I uh, got uh, was a lot of yoga gear. I, um, I was chatting to a friend of mine uh, who, uh, who has moved abroad and uh, she kind of introduced me to yoga and we were kind of reminiscing, you know, when we started and that was about... 18 years ago and that is why when I bought a yoga mat and a pair of yoga leggings so you can imagine the state of those um, so I really needed to um, invest uh, in new equipment last year I really got um, properly back to regular uh, yoga practice so it was time to update uh, like my yoga leggings uh, guys I you know me I don't throw out anything I you know even if I chop up stuff to make little wipes with I would but these leggings were so I repaired them so many times they were so bad uh, that they actually went to the bin I know, shocking. I throw out nothing and yet uh, they were just definitely not good enough to donate and I couldn't even chop up, uh, chop them up to make knickers with because, um, yeah, that's how bad it was. So my lovely husband treated me to a pair of, I'm sorry, itchy nose. I am so sorry. Um, so my lovely husband uh, treated me to a pair of um, Lululemon leggings. Now, ever since I discovered Avery leggings by Helen's Closet, I, I said, there is no way I am ever going to buy leggings ever in my life. And they are fantastic. But the Lululemon yoga high-waisted uh, leggings Ooh, i don't think i would ever be able to achieve uh, that kind of a standard on my like i even own a cover stitch machine uh, but i don't i just uh they are worth the price tag uh, let me just say they're fantastic and i've used them uh, throughout christmas um, so my, like I, my Christmas was so relaxed that I put on my Lululemon leggings on Christmas Day and did not take them off um, until uh, New Year's Eve. I like even when we went to the theater to Panto and I wore my fancy red dress. What did I wear under the dress? My Lululemon leggings with my DMs. I mean, I'm not even sorry. Comfort first. <laughs> 
Um, so uh, yeah, I got those and I got a new yoga mat because my yoga mat started crumbling. <laughs> and um, I also got a lovely cork uh, yoga blocks. So I'm all kitted out for my yoga classes. I also got, um, you know, one of those fidgety rings. I've always wanted, um, ever since I started watching uh, uh, Sha uh, Shan from Kidnish Behavior, and she wears a thumb ring and I've always, I've always wanted one, but I have chunky fingers, so I can't just like, you know, go and buy something that would fit on my thumb. Um, anyway, I got um, one of those anxiety rings. So it's a, a, a band uh, with another band uh, that you can fidget with. There is um, something very naughty written on it and I'm not going to say it because YouTube will ban me forever. So this ring is by a local jewellery designer called uh, Hen Jewellery. She's based in West Cork uh, in a lovely town um, of Clonakilty. She makes, I ha like everything I'm wearing today, including my bracelet and my earrings and my uh, all the rest of my rings, is all by her like everything she does is like my taste she is on instagram and her instagram is hilarious knee of herself uh is uh, she's just uh i i happen to have met her a couple of times she's just a hilarious individual and um yeah like the stuff she does on her instagram go and check it out her, her reels are very funny uh, so that's uh, another thing I got. I got some candles and um, some beautiful vouchers from my daughter for like, you know, spa evening and a massage and stuff. My kids are just the best. But I got one gift that is actually sewing uh, related. And that is I do not have a stiletto. Um, and whenever... I, I kind of have to be that precise, you know, with my stitching. I just uh, take a, a a pin and like maneuver things. But yeah, it's problematic. Um, so I really wanted a stiletto. And this is what my husband produced. I mean, how beautiful. I don't know if you can see the detail on that handle it's just gorgeous and uh he bought me a set of a stiletto and a seam ripper and it's the same beautiful design on the handle uh he got it on etsy from a uh german uh, seller i will link it down below if it's still available i yeah it's just beautiful so i'm delighted to have that so between that and i i i watched um oh, the yorkshire girl uh, fantastic ruan on youtube i watched her vlogmas and she uh was doing few little tutorials here and there and uh in one of the videos i think it was something she had in one of her advent calendars like she had one of those sewing advent calendars and in it there was a hump jumper i always want to giggle a little when i say hump jumper. it's kind of a you know one of those words that could be naughty anyway so i have never used one um and mainly because i didn't really know how to uh but ruan had a little uh like sh showed us on her youtube channel how to use one and now i use it all the time look at me so professional so between my uh lovely new um stiletto and my hum jumper i'm like feeling next level next level Um, future Joanna here. I um, started editing this uh, video and remembered that I forgot about one very important thing. Um, so I put on the same outfit thinking I can fool you guys, but I don't think I can fool you. So I'm just going to come clean. I'm recording this. 
few days later. Um, so the last thing I wanted to add to this lovely video is um, an amazing gift I have received uh, this Christmas. So for the last uh, two or three years, I have been taking part in Secret Sewing Swap um, uh, organized by lovely lady um, who lives in the Netherlands, whose name I can't um, remember right now, but I'm going to put it uh, on the screen there. So my secret Santa uh, was Dina, D-E-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, an amazing human um, from America who has given me the most thoughtful gift. Um, it arrived um, on uh, Christmas Eve, which because my roots are Polish, uh, I celebrate Christmas a little differently, so Christmas Eve is, is actually my main Christmas celebration. So this gift has arrived all the way from America on my Christmas day, uh, which is amazing. Um, so um, uh, this amazing person is from uh, Pasadena, California. And she sent me a lovely card um, and wrote very personal message um, that uh, actually touched me. Um, so in her gift, he, she has uh, included um, this fantastic, um, oh guys, bomb bag, fanny pack, both of them make me giggle, okay, okay. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it has a pocket uh, on the front and uh, is lined uh, with the most beautiful fabric. And it was filled with goodies. Um, she checked my um, 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 Instagram and uh, she figured I'm into sustainability and upcycling and all that stuff. So the uh, a lot of the things she gave me were second hand so she gave me some pompon trim and a uh, beautiful uh, stretch lace uh what else um this buckle um uh these are actually hard to get where i am and they're they're very different it's like a, a dungarees um hardware uh, so I'm delighted uh, with that and some beautiful, um, uh, I want to say wooden uh, buttons, very useful. And then she gave me a, um, some Christmassy uh, fabric, which is again, so beautiful. And this cotton, uh, there's quite a bit of it. Um, so pretty, isn't it? Um, I'll see if I can eke out something. I already have ideas. It is beautiful. And the message, uh, I'm not going to read it um, because I'm not sure if I can, but um, it was just lovely. Lovely, very thoughtful. Every single bit, she actually wrote a little bit about every single piece uh, that came into this beautiful gift, uh, where it came from, how she came uh, to have it. I, I, I was blown away and uh, frankly uh, emotional <laughs> when I read the message and opened the parcel. Beautiful, beautiful gift and I'm so very, very grateful. Okay, so that is all that I had for you today. Um, I hope you too had a very relaxed and very chill out uh, Christmas and that you managed to squeeze a little bit of sewing time and that you managed to just recharge and get inspired and ready for the for the new year. Um, so um, yeah, happy new year to all of you from south of Ireland. Bye!